Talent talk. What would you want to see rare implement into the game? Um, I've spoken about this before. Um, I would like for them to implement a way to... Well, there's a few things. One of which is... Um, so you see how they've done the seasons where like anything you touch, anything you break, anything you stand on, anything you cash in will give you renown towards your season level. So you've only got the season 100. I think they should implement that system to the build rats and have the build rats be an infinite going, um, have had the build rats as an infinite going, uh, like level based. So if someone were to be like very, like, you know, doing a lot of things in game, you go, oh, what's your build rat level? Oh, my build rat level is 560. Like, oh, damn, mine's only like 200. Like, you've been doing a lot of shit. It's a way for you to constantly, you know, get leveled towards something and have the kind of uh, system be something like, um, I don't know, like in Rocket League. In Rocket League, every level is uh, 200,000 XP to get to. So from oh. level 1 to level 2, it's 20,000 <laughs> From level 1 to level 2, it's 20,000 yeah. XP. From level uh, 76 to level uh, 77, it's uh, 20,000 XP. So, that's the main thing I want to see, just to kind of give people a reason to do everything, regardless if you need it or not for combinations. Um, but earlier we spoke about... Um, Earlier, we spoke about um, Lava. using uh, different types of solid. skulls to power up the Fort of the Damned. So instead of using a ritual skull, uh, so if you use a ritual skull, you'll get what you have in the vault now. If you were to use a uh, Ashen Wind skull, you would get an Ashen variant of the loot inside. So you get like an Ashen uh, Athena chest and all that sort of shit. It'll be a, a ramped up and more sought after one. Someone else suggested like, oh, what would you do if you were to use a uh, gold holder skull, uh, gold holder skull from the shores of gold? And I said, well, if you use a gold holder skull, you can get chest attributes and like six or seven. Um, vault keys to go do vaults after you've taken the loot out um i think that'd be like a a, a unique way and a, a way to get people to you know continue doing tortell 9 for instance to get that skull to go do fort uh, dam to do to get uh, vaults or to um to use um a you know ash and wind skull to get better value loot out of the vault um I mean, if you even wanted to, you could use the skeleton captain skull of the damned and all the loot inside. You get like a ghost Athena or another ghost loot. You know, it's just just uh, ways to integrate um, old content with new content. Because um, looking at my uh, reputation, we go into the build rats. Uh, you have uh, is it ashen treasures? Yeah. So I have all the tomes done. I've killed all the the, the bosses at the forts. I have no reason to ever do a fort again. I have literally no reason to ever do a fort again. It does not benefit me in any single way. I have done the fort of the damned. I, there's no reason for me to ever do fort of the damned again because I don't need anything with the fort of the damned. Cosme like a uh, cosmetic slash. Um, Accommodation wise, I've done all the Ash and Wind shit. I don't need to do that anymore because, you know, I don't I don't need to. The only thing I actually need to do uh, is Flameheart, technically, because I still need to hit four more ships with Wraith Balls. So once I do this, I'll have no reason to ever do Flameheart again. So world events are useless to me. And, you know, that's, that's obviously me just whining as, as someone that's played the game too much. But, um, essentially, it, you know, it, it gives players like me and people in my crew, you know, a, a way to use old content to make new content. Another idea that I spoke about earlier, uh, going back to the tavern talk, um, I came up with another world event, a new world event. Again, the ideas that I have incorporate, um assets that are already in the game 
So I'm not thinking of new ideas. I'm not thinking of anything that's in quotes new. I'm just thinking of ways to use in-game cosmetics and in-game assets that are in, already in-game. You just need to kind of work out how to do them. So this ward event would be a, a island raid. So when you do... Um, let's focus the lantern. So for those who have done, obviously, the, the Maiden Voyage, you know that the Maiden Voyage, you come out here at the um, at Thieves' Haven at the end. So meaning that Old Sailor Isle is around here. So this world event would incorporate Old Sail Isle. So when this world event opens up, the shroud will part. So this area here that you come out from, from the Maiden Voyage, the shroud will part, giving you an access to the Old Faithful, uh, the Old Sailor's Isle. On this isle, there will be Athena loot. It's, it's, it's the, the Athena, it's the uh, Pirate Lord's, um, island so it makes sense that he has like you know hidden athena loot there and shit um no worries, no worries kenny have a nice sleep um so you know so the shroud will part meaning that you can come to this island grab as much loot as you can but if you stay here for too long the shroud would close and your ship would be destroyed because you stayed there for too long so it's kind of like you know a race against the clock you, you know, you get all your shit. Um, however, when you get here, you have two ways out. You could either choose to go out this way to the north, where most likely someone will be camping. Or um, you can go out to the east. There'll be a separate way, a back way out via the east. Again, someone can be camping that way. But it's less likely that obviously someone will be there, seeing as people will be rushing in from all areas to kind of come this way. So obviously you'd come in. And then head out. Over time, people would understand that they'll be doing this, so instead they'll go around and camp that side. Again, it's encouraging people to obviously gamble, essentially. So, you know, maybe maybe from this side you can see that there's a ship, so maybe you fucking turn around and then go go up and go out this way. Um, but, you know, it's, it's using the island that's already in the game. Uh, and yeah, I think as a world event, it could be interesting. You know, you, you you know it's um maybe it's a fucking pirate lord's head that's floating like flame hearts, and it's like hey look, um come grab all my loot. You know I'm feeling generous. Maybe they uh, add a new chest there or something. But you know, just an idea. You don't have to make a new island. You know you just have to put the island in game and have a have a mechanic that opens the shroud and closes the shroud and have it so that the the shroud breaker doesn't do anything. Um. But, you know, I think as a world event, it could be quite easy. And if no one does it, then it closes up. You know, no risk, no, you know, no gain. Um, but yeah, you can obviously get trapped in there. Or you can try choose to go out this way or that way, where obviously people can be camping. And those who are camping, maybe someone, um, maybe someone's, maybe so the person in here goes, oh shit, there's someone camping. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just sink in here. I don't, I don't want to fight him. I'm just thinking it. They don't get the loot. And the guy that's waiting there is like, alright, well, well, fuck me, I guess. You know, I, I could have gone in there and, and, and uh, I could have gone in there and stole it from them, but, you know, they're being a bitch and they're not coming out. No, uh, we, we both lost. Yeah, it could be like, like rare. Um, it could be essentially uh, maybe once in every in game two weeks once in every in game week you know it, you know you have the the maybe as rare as like um you know so obviously it says a world event so it, it will take up a a fort uh, it will take up a, a fort um a skelly fleet a uh, flame heart or a, an, an ash and winds but you know so obviously when it's active none of those are up and you only have what let's say an in game day so you only have 24 minutes to rush over there and go in like as soon as it goes up at the start of the day it will end at night you only have 24 minutes regardless if someone goes in or regardless if no one touches it you only have 24 minutes um build a sort of thing for them but yeah I, I i think you know as an idea could be a thing and like i said it, it you you can either for those people that don't like PvP, and they see that someone's camping, like, fuck it, you know, 
if he's gonna camp there and wait for the loot, and I know I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna get this. You know, I'm not I'm bad at PvP. I'll just sink myself. And then the person that's waiting there was like, "Shit, we could have gone in. We could have gone in, and we could, we could have sunk him, but we chose to wait. And you know, that's on us." So it will encourage people to either go in and attack or wait outside and attack. And obviously, if you go in to attack, you run the risk of being caught in there, and you both your ship sinking. So, it's like a, or or you know, hey, do you want an alliance? There's enough of Fina loot here for both of us. Sure. You know how is that? Um, you know, hey, uh, you know, you take this amount of loot. We'll take this amount of loot. You you go out the east side. I'll go out the north side. You know, we'll, we'll part ways, and we'll, we'll, we'll meet up, and we'll sell the loot, and you know... You know, thank you for not killing me. Um, I'm glad we can share this loot together. There you go, look, you can alliance it. So... I don't know. It doesn't even have to be that hard, maybe um, you, you rock up and there's just fucking loot everywhere. But no, I, I do care about this game. And I do want to see it, you know, obviously do well. And I want to see, uh, you know, content that's added that will last. And I think implementing the build track level to kind of be like the uh, the seasons levels where like, you know, anything you do, anything you touch, anything you see, anything you, you know, you step foot on will add towards your build track level and your build track level can go up to infinite. Or you can even cap it. Maybe every season you can only get up to like, you know, maybe a thousand. So that people can't, you know, hit it so hard. Um, but I think adding a level to the build rats, because the build rats are the ones that, you know, the, 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 the party goers, they're the ones that want you to go explore, you know, adventures out there. Um, do everything. You know, I think that would really add to that faction and be like, you know, wow, you know, you're, you're a level 300 build rat, you, you, you know, you play this game. I'm only level 10. I haven't seen much, I haven't done much. Um... Yeah, I think it, yeah, I think that adds to the... the lore, and I think it really, um... makes that faction a thing, and maybe, maybe even like, maybe... every 500 levels... you get something new. You get a new build rat thing. It doesn't mean that, you know, it'll take ages to get 500 levels, but... Um, you know, maybe a title or a, a item of clothing, no, just something. Doesn't have to be big. I think a title, just titles maybe. Build track titles for um, hitting certain levels. I mean, 90% of the community isn't even that close to maxing everything out yet, too. True. But, again... Um... Is it worth punishing that 10% for playing their game actively and enjoying the game? I don't think we should make content specifically for that 10%, but adding, you know, the build at level means that no matter what that 10% is doing, that 10% is always, um, getting something. For the people that want to max out everything and add new levels, so... No, 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 so, you, you missed my point. The, the, um... The build rat goes to infinite, you know, the, the build rat, the, there's, there's no set level to the build rats. It's basically to those, it's like adding the, it's like what, um, they did with the, the, the renown. So, you know, instead of hitting to 100, you can go up to 10,000. You do it in your own time, maybe there's no reward to it. M maybe you get nothing. But it's just a way to calculate and say, like, look, you know, look at me. I'm I'm build at level 6,000. You know, look at me, I, I play this game so much, look how sad I am. And, you know, they can show off to their friends. It doesn't mean anything, it really doesn't, but it gives that- it gives those people a sense of achievement and gives them a level of competition but it means nothing at the end of the day and maybe they do maybe they do something like every every um 
every 100 levels or every every 1,000 levels you get a, a title. And, you know, you can share off that title and be like, look, I'm Bildrat Extraordinaire, I'm Bildrat Master, I'm Bildrat Novice, I'm Bildrat uh, Apprentice. It, again, it, how hard is it to put fucking write Bildrat and then make a Bildrat XXXX, Bildrat this, that, the other. It's not hard to just think of um, names for, um, you know, for, for something. And it's not, um, it's not hard to obviously... I'm, I'm guessing it's not that hard to code it in, seeing as they, they, they had, you know, accommodations and titles for everything. But, you know, um, yeah, maybe if it was just, maybe if it was just titles, I think that would be a nice, a nice thing. Maybe not adding cosmetics to it, because obviously cosmetics kind of gives people a, way, a reason to grind. Um, but maybe just titles, you know, it's just a nice touch. I think, um, I'd be happy with that. You know, I, I kill every Mega I come across anyway. I kill every Kraken I come across, but if I knew that, you know, I was getting XP for it and it was adding towards a, a level that, you know, I can kind of flex with. Doesn't mean anything, but it just means that everything I do means something to me and my Pirate's Adventure, you know. At the end of the day, this this is, this uh, this is game is a, is a sandbox game and making your own adventure. And how cool would it be to be like, look how much my pirate's adventures, you know, look how much my pirate has grown, this is my pirate, my pirate is this level, you know, I, I think that'd be nice. Like how infamous my pirate is, it's, it's level 5000, doesn't mean anything, you know, a level, a level 100 pirate could, could kill me. Just a, an idea.